Okay, in this video, I will show you how to make a hyperlink on a web page. So what we'll do is, is create a link from our main index to another index that we'll create inside of the appropriate CISC folder or directory. Um, and then uh, we'll link back the other way. So when we click on the main index, it goes to the sys 10 whatever index. And then we click home on the sys 10 whatever index, it'll go back to um, uh, the main index, the main homepage. So that's the plan. Let's see if it works. All right, get my putty up. Okay, so here I am in my Buddy, PWD, where am I again here? Uh, I'm in public HTML, and there's my index. I want to open that up. There we go. Uh, that's how we left it last time. So uh, we know we have the main HTML element. That element's body, or I'm sorry, that element's content is com is comprised of two elements, the, the head element and the body element, right? The head element is here, and the body element boom, starts and ends there. Those two elements, the children of the HTML element, are indented under HTML, and they're not indented under each other because they're on the same level. They're, they're siblings, right? Title element, on the other hand, is indented inside the head element because it's a child of the head element. So you could say, I suppose, HTML element <laughs> is the grand grandparent of the title. <laughs> so as we go through this ancestry, it, 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 we, we, we continue to indent to show who the sibling, and clearly, we can clearly see who the sibling and the parent are. So we want to create a link in this video from this document to another one that I have that we're going to create. So um, let's get started. Although I still I don't I left, I left this that way. I still don't like having that naked text sitting there with no element around it. It's really not HTML compliant so much. And well, let's just start over on it. How about if I make a a header for this. I'll call it. A, I'll make a header. And there is so there is an H two element that can do that for us. It's the H one element. So it, much the same way that you would see in Word. But, you know there is an H one header one. H one is the biggest header. So I will call this B O Y E R S homepage. All right. And then I'm, I certainly will need the closing. tag h1 and then put that on the end so it's in angle brackets I'm not you don't want to miss that in angle bracket they, these these uh, tags need to be wrapped in angle brackets all right the closing tag has the forward slash the opening tag does not so the browser knows that this h1 element is finished when it sees that forward slash h1 so once it reads this first h1 it's thinking, okay, here's everything here is all the H1. It's all my big heading. And then it sees this and it says, oh, that's the end of it. All right? So we, we don't want to miss the closing tag. All right, so I've got that tag in there and I will begin to show you. It doesn't really matter. The spacing doesn't matter so much. It really is about human re readability. So I, I do want them indented for sure so that we don't... Just everything becomes really screwed up if we don't. So just take my word for it for now. You'll begin to understand as we move forward. So we're trying to work on a hyperlink. That's our goal for this video. And that element is called an anchor element. And it just looks like an A. And we will do the close. So I mean, I'll, I'll go ahead and do this this way. Um, uh, let me type it out and then I'll kind of explain it to you. So that's the anchor element and um, we're trying to go to our 
from our main page, we're trying to go to our, uh, I'll make this one too, CISC 101. one index okay so don't think that I'm referring to any kind of file here right that's just plain oops look at that text that would have not worked right <laughs> wait a minute what's going on here this is what I meant to do. all right there we go that's the close of the anchor so if you think about a, a hyperlink, when you click the link, you, there's kind of two things associated with a hyperlink. There is text that you're going to click, and then another page is going to open up. So we will have to let the browser know where that other page is that it's going to open up. And that we would do with an attribute here, H, the href attribute. And so it starts with href equals quote, and we're going to put an address in here and then close the quote. I just typed regular old text in there for a moment, just so I could, just so you could see the format of this thing. Here, you know what we'll do real quick before we go too too far. I'm going to show you something here. No, I don't want to do it because it's going to lead you to start doing it. We'll, we'll come back and do that. For right now, just to hold the place, I'm going to type this. Right? It's just random text in there. That will have to be an address, though. So I'm going to save this for right now, and then we're going to go, we're going to go over and build the other file and come back. But then we'll know what the file is we're going to link to, right? So let's let's build the file that we're going to link to. I'm going to do a control X because I need to be in putty. I need to be in putty so I can ls. So there's my index. Now I have this sys101 folder here. You you have either if you're in sys101, then you have a sys101 folder. If you are in Sys103, you have a Sys103 folder. Well, you do if you created it. If you didn't, you would use MKDIR to create it, right? So it would be MKDIR space whichever your whichever directory you uh, you have, whichever class you're in. So I'm going to just do this for Sys101 just because it's right there. I'm just looking at it. So I'm going to CD into CISC101. Okay. Let me see what's in here. There might be an index in there. You never know. All the things that we've done. There's nothing in there. Oh, tester. And it's this one of this one oh one dot HTML. Okay, I think I can work with that. Uh, this test DIR is something from another video. I would like to delete that, but I believe there is a file in it. So let's just do it in case you have it. You can get rid of it too. Let me cd into test, T-E-S-T-D-I-R. And let me do an ls. And you see that test.html is in that directory called test beer. If I had tried to delete test beer, I would have gotten an error message that, that um, test beer contains um, other files or folders. So I already knew that it was going to do that. So I just jumped in there. I'm going to delete test.html. It's a file. So we're going to delete it with rm. Okay. So enter. And hopefully if I didn't spell anything, we're good. All right. I'll do an ls to prove it to you. There's nothing there. So go back up again. So cd space dot dot enter. And then we can remove. I'll do an ls. So you see what I'm doing. I'm going to get rid of that test dir directory. So since that's a directory, I don't use rm, I use rmdir. Okay, and then we'll do an ls. Okay, 
right, good. So we get rid of files with RM, directories with RMDIR. So now I would like to change that name of that file right there that's currently called CISC101.html. No, I'll leave it that way. It's fine. I don't mind it. So if you are in sys101, you are going to be creating a sys101.html file. And if you're in 103, then you do sys103.html, right? And we do that with Pico, right? We create files. Now mine's just gonna open. Since I don't have anything else in there, I'm gonna use the star here. Okay, so that is where this directory, this file is. That's from a previous video I had written that in there. I'm gonna leave that in there because I can use that to prove that um, that this is the file that's open when we see it in the browser after we click on the link. So I'm gonna go ahead and start filling out all the things I'm supposed to have here. Remember, HTML. And close that. And then I would do this, and then close, and then HTML, right? And you go ahead and continue, and then we'll go back here. Make sure you're set up right here. So then I would need to come back in now for the content, three spaces, and I start head. Title, content for title, which will be the title that I want this page to be, and that will be this particular page. Oh, you know what? I would prefer to do something else. That's okay. Well, we'll we're going to fix it. We're going to keep going. Close the title element and enter and close the head. Okay, then we would have what next? The body. And this is where our content to be displayed on the web page would go, right? Right, which would be this thing, this stuff down here. It's control K, I believe. Control K. I'll come on back up there. I'll just do a control U here, and then I'll put it where it's supposed to be. I'll just leave it naked text sitting there unwrapped for the map for the minute because what we really want to work on is the uh, uh, the, the link element, the anchor element. So that's what I'm really trying to get at. So we'll worry about prettying up the, the content of the body. That is the, dis, the visible text that we're going to have, what we're trying to show the user of the website. Uh, we'll work with that extensively. For right now, um, I just want to get this, this directory structure set up and get the anchor in so you can see a text, um, a, a link happen. So control X. All right, for now we're just going to do this. Yes, I want to save that, enter. All right, here's what I thought of while I was doing that. You know, if... I think it's fine. We're going to leave it as it is. We're going to leave it as it is, rather than confuse the video on me. So let's look at PWD for a minute. So we know that we are currently... The file is called, in my case, sys101.html, and it resides in a folder called sys101. And I know that our main index is sitting here. So if I want to describe relative to where the main index is, index.html, I want to describe the location 
of CIS-103 index, that it would be in, from an LS from, from public initiative, it would be in CIS-101 slash CIS-101 index.html, right? I'm in public HTML, I do an LS, I see my index right here. So relative to this PWD, I wanna build these links uh, with ad using addressing that's relative to the document that's getting the link, where the link lives. And this link lives right here, right? Uh, it's gonna live in this file, that's where I wanna put it. So I want to, and I want that to point to something that's inside this directory, the file that's in this directory. So relative to here, for instance, I would say, if I wanted to go in that directory, I would CD into it, right? Just keep these kind of thoughts in mind. And for right now, I just want to open up index.com, uh, index.html. Pico, Pico, I thought I had it right there. So not always does this work out well. There it is. Okay, so let's come on down here. And so all we needed to fill in here was this, what I used as a placeholder here, this nonsense text. So from where I am right now, index.html, which is in public HTML, then we would need to go into, in my directory structure, CISC 101, and then there would be CISC 101 index. Yeah, I think we called it sys 101 index.html. All right, now if I'm wrong on that, this is not going to work. I'm going to have to fix it, right? because I cannot be wrong. We know on these, uh, on anything here, if I do any little thing wrong at all, if I skip that L and that file actually has an L, the file name does, then this won't work, right? So I have to be very careful that I get this right and I spell it right and I use the right case. Now I'm gonna have to double check it, but I bet you, you know, I don't know, did I use uppercase or lowercase when I uh, created this file called sys101index? I'm going to have to check it, right? But I'll do that real quick. We know for sure it's in the sys101 directory. I just have to double check the name of this file. So I'm going to do control X. Yeah, I want to save the changes there. And I'll hope that if it's not right, I'll have to come back and fix it. Go to LS. So this is why I know it's in sys101. There is sys101. I'm going to CD into it. And I'm going to do an LS. Look at that. CISE is in lowercase. CISE101.html. All right. Back up. And open this thing up again. Not that big of a deal. All right, come on down. I'll fix this case. Okay, now that's it. Yes, I want to save it, and I want to set that, that directory. So now let's look at, let's look at what has happened. So you'll see the process here. So I just created a page, I wrote some HTML in it, so now I want to open it in the browser and see what it looks like, right? I'm going back to that page again, I'm going to refresh. If I like it, great. Probably not going to, right? Because it's the first time I, it's the first shot on it. You're usually going to have to tweak it a little bit. But I'll just take a look at what it looks like so far. Control refresh. So this was the H1 caused that to happen. H1 is a block element, so it gave me a space under. I actually don't mind this so much for a first shot. 
So I'd like to explain or talk a little bit about how this happened. CISC 1101, I didn't write that right here. Let's go back and look at it. I'm gonna show you what's, so now I can see what I typed in the file and how the, the browser displays. And so this is why we're going back and forth. This is why you use <coughs> control, uh, control O. So you make a change, write out, refresh the browser, see how your change looks, and then come back and make a change in Putty. Control O, right? So we're back at Putty again. What we see here is it was the H1 element, this element right here that I wrapped Boyer's homepage in, right? That's the element that caused the uppercase bold, here, I'm jump over there until you see it. I'm afraid I'm gonna lose my, now nah, I'll do it this way. That's what caused the up Boyer's homepage to be larger font size and bold. All right, so back to Putty. The anchor here, href, this is the address of the page where the, the location, the home of the page that we want to open when I click that link, which I haven't done yet. Then the, this is the text that's displayed the clickable text. So the content, this is the opening tag. That's the closing tag here. And this is the text, uh, the, the content in between. Just the sys 101. See that mistake I made that I noticed when I looked at the page? Um, I got it. I don't even have it opened here. There you go, that's proof that I'm making a change again. So I'm just gonna do a control O this time. Enter. All right, so when I come back here, I'll refresh again, hold my control down, refresh. That has been corrected, and now let's see if I got it. I didn't. Page not found. So I've, I, immediately I know I have misspelled something or the case isn't right. Uh, I'll tell you, this wasn't planned for me to get that wrong. CISC 101, CISC 101, lowercase index.html. I need to come out of there. CD. But I think it's good that you can see what I would do to try and correct these issues. CISC101, that's lowercase CISC101, and I can see up here, it's uppercase, that's correct. There is no word index in it, what am I doing? Look, I said sys101 index there to try and call this file. There is no word index there. Why does the machine just know what I meant? <laughs> I'm not going to answer the question <laughs> that I asked myself. LS. This is where we want to be, right? There's my index. That's where the problem is. Pico index, come on down here. We know what the problem is now. There is no word index on here, although it does sound like the thing that should be. It's not that way, but you could model, we could change it. We just gotta change it in both places. I have to change the name of the file and the name of the file uh, in, the, in the anchor as well. All right, so let's control O. Enter and back and control refresh. And I still don't have something right.
Here, let's get you over to my browser so we can kind of learn a little bit about debugging this kind of stuff um, also while we're at it. So when I click there, after the change, you see I still have an error here of some sort, right? If I go back and do a right click, view page source, I can see that's the HTML. So I want to look for number one, I don't know what all that JavaScript's doing there. I didn't do that. Pull yourself over. Here's my CISC 101. Oh, it still reads index. See, that's what we changed. We got rid of the word index. Okay, so this is telling me that I have, uh, I'm, it's continuing to use the cache, right? That's the old page. Uh-oh, I just closed the whole, no, that's it. So for some reason, it's still using the home page, even though I held the control down. Oh, there, there we go. I don't know why it worked that time, but it was supposed to work. Maybe the first time I forgot to hold the control down. So remember, the control means go back out to the server and get a fresh copy. Don't keep using the old history copy that we have. Right? Um, because that's going to be the case. I, I, I'm continuously modifying and writing the changes on the server, and the browser's not going out there to grab the, the new changes. And I needed to. So I'm uh, holding the, uh, the control down with the refresh um, to, to, that's supposed to force it to go out and not use its cache. Uh, but I was able to determine that it was using the old copy by looking at the page source which is an interesting thing, right? You do not, your um, your HTML is not hidden in any sort of way or encrypted or anything like that. It's just plain text in there. It's just being rendered by the browser. So you see the browser is not showing like the H1 element that was there. It's not showing anything like that because um, that's what it does. The, it, it treats those tags in a special way. And so if it's an H1 tag, it, uses that h1 it, it renders that html uh yeah h, whether it's h1 or paragraph or whatever one you're using it renders them um, and displays them in the rendered form i'll tell you one other mistake that could happen if your index if your html file doesn't end with dot html the browser won't render the html right so it needs to be it needs to be file name dot html Otherwise, what you'll what you'll see in your browser when the browser gets the copy from the server, you'll see the actual HTML displayed on the web page rather than being rendered. All right. So we did the link in one direction, and then I think um, you should try to do the link in the other direction. So now we went from main index to sys101 index. Now there should be a link on sys101 index that goes back to, I keep saying sys101 index, and there's no index on that name of that file, to sys101file.html. It should go back to index.html so that there's a loop, right? That's how web pages normally are. There's usually a way to get back home, right? Without using the back arrow. So that's, let's see how you can move forward on that if you can get the other side of the link. Um, I wrote it in this video, I wrote it one direction, now you bring it back the other direction. It's the same way, it's just gonna be relative to your PWD. You have to think about how you would from, if your PWD was the location of the file, how would you get back to the other file, right? So I'll give you a moment, I'll write it, I'll do another video, we'll do the second half of that but you should try to see if you can figure it out. Anyway, that's enough for this one. It's been long too long.